All right, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Free thinking. Maybe 15 minutes, maybe less, maybe more. We'll see. I'm going to sit here and ponder the possibilities and talk shit about truthers. No. In the past, I've been a little harsh on truthers, if they want to call themselves that, and uh, for quite a while, I haven't really said much. I ignored the subject because it seems like Many of these folks are defeating themselves. I don't really need to say anything. And to those who want to retort, um, I really don't give a shit. It's not something I argue anymore. It's not something that's even worth debating. What I'm presenting here is, uh, is are, are no facts, are no truths here themselves. I'm just talking about people who claim to have the truth on YouTube, who put truth in their name, it's always truth this, or something truth that, or disclosure something. And uh, many of these people have just been proven to be completely bunk. Like many of these UFO disclosure channels and whatnot, they're just making up nonsense. They're promoting bad stories, they're putting out information that they don't even filter, research, or give a damn whether or not it's true. Merely for the sake of riling up and getting views so they can get their channel to make them a few bucks. Now, this is business. This is just how the world works. Uh, there are two different, I should say, groups of people. There are the ones who are doing it because they know they get views and they're doing anything to get views to make money. Then there are the ones who start getting views on their channel so they continue to make up stories and start to delude themselves and pretend and actually believe that they're doing the right thing. Um, and I think that anybody who's done and researched any of these topics knows what I'm talking about, whether it be the Illuminati, or the Freemasons, or the Reptilians, or Aliens, there's always a channel telling you what the next truth is. Whether they be analyzing some crappy footage and telling you that it's a reptilian, you know, shape-shifting anomaly or whatnot. And these are millions and millions of views on some of these videos, and they know it. And these people are out there, and you're, uh, you know, uh, there's a reason why there's ads on most of these channels. And there's also a reason why most of these people won't even have a rational debate about it, and they'll just call you a shill or a troll and blow you off. They're basement researchers. Many of them will even admit after a discussion, you know, they'll say, well, oh, you need to do your research. I've been researching the internet for so long. I say, you know, get out in the real world and do some critical thinking. Now, I'm gonna, I should get more specific before I just start talking shit about these truthers. The ones I'm talking about are the sensationalists. Uh, the ones who claim to always have some new truth video about what's going on in the world and they're posting this stuff. Uh, a good inspiration for this is the Stanley Kubrick thing that happened uh, the other day. I heard a story about it. Somebody says, hey Stanley Kubrick, they have an interview that's 15 years old where he disclosed that he had hoaxed the moon landings. And since this has been a conspiracy thing for decades, of course, you know, I thought, well maybe there's credibility. And then I found out uh, that this guy was going to present it on, I guess, Coast to Coast AM. So then I woke up this morning, and I, one of my subscriptions had mentioned something about it, and that's how I found out about it. And uh, it was some spiritualist lady, some psychic, I guess, and she was all excited about, oh, they're going to be revealing this. Like, it's something totally not even connected to <laughs> the type of research that they do. It's, it's, these truthers tend to just attack anything they can, any idea whether it be Kennedy, aliens, Bigfoot, name it. And I respect that because I'm also a researcher that's interested in the unknown, the occult, the hidden, different animals, um, you know, uh, whatever they call it. Uh, uh, all the different types of uh, study of these animals. I can't remember the cryptozoology, there you go. And I've looked into all these things. And I've looked into the alien phenomenon. I've looked into the flat earth phenomenon, the hollow moon, Nibiru. Uh, the list goes on and on, conspiracies and the Illuminati and the, you know, the reptilians and the insectoids and the, the connection between the near-death experience and DMT and the, and the reptilian land. And I could go on and on because for 20 years I was into this stuff. And now I've blown it off because I've seen what the, com the truther community has separated themselves on the internet from the rest of reality and refuse to open their doors to anybody who has a different thought. It's become almost a religious fanaticism that these people hold, where if you even open up and debate, you're instantly just somehow a shill. Now, I don't know how many times I've been accused of being a shill or 
a, a misinformant, and I'm like, this is obviously not critical thinking on a person's part. All they have to do is click my name, go to my channel, see that I have 3,000 videos. But I suppose all that's just set up as a sham to fool people. So point being, if a person has truth in their name, and they're constantly coming up with new truths, and they're arguing with people, and they're banning people from their channel, and they're arguing a lot, and not presenting any real factual evidence, then uh, the burden is always upon them. And they know that, so they will just say that the people who don't agree are asleep. Um, anyway, back to this Kubrick thing, which was the inspiration. As it turned out, Kubrick thing was a lie. It was a hoax. Um, even the, the conspiracy channels who were really into this stuff say, hey, they analyzed the footage, it does not even look like Kubrick, and uh, this is coming from the people who would want to believe that it was Kubrick, uh, but thank goodness for some of these rational truther channels who are actually, like, vetting, you know, going through the process and, and vetting the information that they're getting and really checking it out, vetting the people anyway, and, and checking and documenting and cross-referencing because they know how embarrassing, embarrassing it is to make a big revelation like, you know, uh, about aliens or something and then have it turn out to be not true. So, I think we're learning as a, as a whole, as a community of truthers, because I guess I would consider myself one of the first truthers. Uh, when I was younger, I was always running around talking about the Illuminati and how the sky is falling and the government deal with aliens, and so I considered myself a truther, but this was back in, say, the late 90s to the early 2000s, and then as I got through the 2000s towards the end, I started to almost become embarrassing, embarrassed to associate myself with any type of, like, truth movement, because I realized that I had to have humility and, real, and, and, just, and admit that m many of the things that I thought were true just don't fit anymore. Yes, I, I could give a million examples. Let's say crop circles. You know, yes, they look all great. And then you start to realize that yes, some of them are man-made. Then you wonder how many of them are man-made. To what degree can we understand? What real math equations or anything are these presenting? And then you start to realize, what good does it do anyway? And then I file it to the back. Um, I start hearing about the reptilians and the Illuminati, and I start filtering through, looking at the information. How is this helping me? Okay. You know, take what I can from it, and the rest of it, filter it to the back. The Bigfoot phenomenon. You know, people say, well, uh, they're out there, they're just hiding. And then somebody says, well, there's 40,000 trail cameras in the Pacific Northwest. Why hasn't one caught one? And then people say, well, it's because they can be invisible what they want. And then other people say, well, it's because they're really super intelligent. They're aliens. And then another person says, yeah, they throw rocks and stumps at people's tents. And I just say, okay, it's another thing to filter onto the back shelf. And on and on through all these different, quote, truths, I filtered them away, filtered them to the back shelf, and most of them have done no good to know. The only truth that has endured that has been one that has actually benefited is the law of intention. And even that one, they had movies like The Secret, which opened that up to a lot of people. Um, telling people, yes, you can intend to have money, you can intend to have things, you can intend, intend. Uh, meanwhile, leaving out the point that it's intention for the greater good and the greater whole. Call intention prayer. Prayer works, intention works, but they only work if the person's end goal is to better, the, to better their surroundings or better themselves to better the world. And that's my belief, of course. That's where we get into the idea of belief, that intention actually has an effect on the physical world. And I should just stop there because that's where, you know, it would get into a, a debate about what's true. But that truth for me is my truth, and I don't try to push it on anyone. And I would never dare come and say, I'm telling you the truth, that if you intend for something, you can have it. And that's how I feel a lot of these people are. They're pointing the finger and saying, you can do this, and you should know this, <laughs> or you could know this. And uh, a lot of it's just bullshit. I hate to say it, but I, I mean, I feel the same way about channelers. What information are they presenting? You know, a lot of it's just the same old recycled crap. Um, I've been disillusioned so many times wanting to believe that something was true, but it's the same old crap. There are so many illusionists, magicians, and, you know, savvy word players out there. I don't know what to believe anymore. You know, I was going to make a video about orgone energy because there was Wilhelm Reich who came up with this idea of this orgone accumulator box. 
and later on these people now are pouring this resin with like shavings of metal and sawdust and crap and, and setting these things up and saying that they clear uh, away radiation or that they block you know harmful radiation from cell phone towers or break up chemtrails just a bunch of ludicrous stuff it sounds like it might have some credibility by the way people talk about it but it's just another new age hoax another new age it's not even a hoax it's just something people keep perpetuating and believing it's a little truth based on a real idea and so people use that little bit of truth t to back it up in other words making something completely bunk based on someone else's idea and then using them as credibility for the idea that that truth is true saying one per part of my argument is true so the whole thing's true and uh, so ultimately I'm not really here to try to disprove anybody uh, I'm just here saying that most of the truthers who are claiming to have truth are you know they really need to step back a little bit because from where I sit, it looks like a lot of them haven't quite got even themselves figured out or even how to behave with their fellow man or get their lives together or figure out what they even want out of it. That's sensationalism. So, those are my thoughts on truthers, and uh, I hope you all are having a fantastic 12-12. Uh, 12-12. <laughs>